Hey guys, I'm Corabel. Um, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. So in my videos, I talk about life, engineering, um, vlogs, travel. Um, so today I'm going to talk about what are the top five most important skills that you'll need as a mechanical engineer. And these are things that I wish I knew um, back when I was like a student in college, um, something that I wish I'd developed better, but it's okay, we live and learn and that's why YouTube exists. So without further ado, let's get into it. The top five most important skills that you'll need to know uh, as a mechanical engineer. So starting off with number five, Excel. So Excel and or programming. And I say this because in every internship and job that I've had um, as a mechanical engineer or engineering intern, I've always used Excel whether it is um, trying to figure out, um, do conducting a thermal analysis on a cooling system, knowing Reynolds number, or things like a trade study, um, trying to ration, <laughs> rationalize our thoughts, compart compartmentalize our thoughts, and figuring out which category of the design is most important to us, helping us move forward with the design. And or just any basic calculation that we need. Sometimes we just need a calculator, plug in the numbers, and then we'll get the output result. So, oh my God, that was long. Number four. Oh no, we're losing some light. Okay, sorry, it's, it got cloudy all of a sudden, guys. Okay, so. Number four is CAD, whether it's 2D or 3D. So in all of my internships, I've also had at least one task where it involves CAD. For example, for a civil engineering internship I've had back in Hawaii, I modeled the topography of different land masses of the island or of different parts of the island. For 3D, let's see, just basic parametric modeling, um, I've one of the coolest things I've worked on was um, the design of a coconut tree climbing robot. So I modeled that in SolidWorks and it was cool. And I still use different types of CAD systems or CAD programs today. Um, when you move to a bigger company, knowing how to use CAD, like opening up CAD and looking at different assemblies, um, that's going to be important. So it's just a very overall useful skill to know. Number G, D, and T, geometric dimensions and tolerances. So this is really important because I feel like at least once a month I'm dealing with some type of um, G, D, and T or some issue that involves G, D, and T, whether it's redesign or coming up with a new design. And this is important because we need to know if all of the tolerances and different materials and the overall assembly are accounted for the design. So, and also if something was made 20, 10, or five years ago, it doesn't mean that there's not issues with it. We might have to do another stack up analysis now to figure out what's going wrong with the design. Why are we having these issues of um, things not lining up, for example. All right. So that's really important and overall, I mean, in the long run, it will save you money and increase the accuracy for proper tolerances and maximizing production. Okay. And number two, sorry, number two is design intuition. So when I say design intuition, I mean basic design, just design and knowing um, thermal analyses and structures and coming up with a simple calculation to determine um, how thick the wall of the material should be in order to withstand this amount of pressure. Um, things like that. And it's not something that is going to come easily to you um, right away, but it will take time. And you'll see people like Elon Musk, for example, can ask him a question, he'll pull out an equation out of his head and be able to answer it. Like it's like a physics question or something, you know. Last but not least, number one, 
Drum roll, please. People skills. And this skill is important because you're going to need it in every job that you go to. You're going to need to know how to communicate, listen, empathize, and you just deal with people overall. This is important because you might love the type of work that you're doing, but you may not always have a good team. And having good people on your team will make all the difference in the world, trust me. Um, and knowing how to navigate some sticky situations that might hopefully doesn't come, all, come up all the time, but when they do, having these skills is really important. And again, this is something that comes with experience. Also, think about the number one reason why people quit their jobs. It's usually a bad team or bad manager. So keep that in mind. And yeah, that, those are the top five skills that, those are my top five skills that I believe um, mechanical engineers or engineers in general should master now. And let me know down in the comments below. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you want to add something? Let me know if this isn't a one-time set list like this will change over time and this is my list as a young mechanical engineer so thank you for watching i hope this was helpful much love to you all manifest good things and i'll